We are just two days away from the holiday of love, Valentine's Day. And what better way to celebrate than to combine the sweetness of chocolate and cocktails. I love this. So here to show us the infusion is Bacardi Portfolio Ambassador Casey Lambert. Thank you for being here. Of course. I'm excited. I'm, me too. Of course, you're bringing <laughs> Valentine's to the set. So let's talk about the chocolate martini. How many ingredients do you have to make this? And does it taste just like a drinking of chocolate, like yeah, hot cocoa? Yeah, absolutely. Or just better? So, I mean, we are making a Grey Goose chocolate martini. Okay. Um, the thing about Grey Goose is it's focused on, like, really great ingredients. So if you're making something that's very spirit forward um, and the spirit is the shining moment of the whole cocktail, um, you want to use something like this. Okay. So we can the go best. ahead and go in here. <laughs> and it is Valentine's Day. That's the day you splurge. Exactly. That's when you bring out the nice stuff. So is this a double shot? So this is going to be two ounces of Grey Goose. Okay. okay. Super easy build. Another thing I like to do sometimes is if I'm having people over, it'll be just batch it kind of like heavy. This is one and a half ounces okay. of creme cacao. And that's basically it. Wow. Yeah, super easy. And I've pre-rimmed this glass already with chocolate. Oh, so you just get like an essence of chocolate? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that because yeah. the really rich like drinking hot cocoa is, is a little intense for me. Yeah, so this is gonna this is gonna come out a lot cleaner than having like a vodka and hot cocoa. Yeah. But you're still gonna get those chocolate notes with the creme cacao and then on the glass as well. Okay, so creme de cacao, I've never mm -hmm. used it. So it's basically a chocolate essence. Or it's, flavor? it's a chocolate liqueur. Okay, chocolate yeah. liqueur. So huh. Let's see here. And there you have it. I mean, pretty easy. And like I said, um, something really cool about martinis is they can I be pre batched. Oh, please. Um, diluted down a little bit oh, and like then put taste. in the freezer. So. Really easy if you're having oh, people over. Oh, that is over. good. Even yeah. though it's clear, it tastes like chocolate. Yes, it tastes like exactly. A Hershey's bar with the white creme cacao. Nice. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, but and then the other one I wanted to do was um, the red velvet with Duce. Oh, let's um, do it. Yeah. So we're gonna put a little bit of raspberries in here and muddle. Just Which really is nice because raspberries bruise really easily. <laughs> really easily. And then the French oak barrels that do say is um, rested in, um, aged in, is going to bring out a lot of those cinnamon flavors, woody flavors. So it's like a great pairing, you know? And it's then we're just going to do setup. two ounces of this. Just like that. And then we have a different creme cacao. We used a white one before. This is two, one and a half of creme cacao. And this, and we're gonna do a little bit of chocolate bitters. Oh, I'm gonna just sniff it there. I know, right? Oh, yes. This one's gonna that be really good. intense. Well, yeah. I like the raspberry element because it brings a freshness to it. Of course. A little ice in here. And we'll just shake that up. It's really pretty. Shaking it. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it faster. <laughs> It's almost like a German chocolate cake without the coconut. That's what it smelled like to me. That's a good call. Beautiful. So the color's really pretty. Kind of looks like love, smells like love. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Yeah. And what do you recommend for both of these cocktails to what, pair it with? Well, let's, let's do raspberries on top. Okay. To pair it with in what way? Food-wise? Yeah. Like Let's say you're making a dinner. Should you do something like a steak or something light like a fish or vegetarian? Well, I mean, I rarely have a steak without a martini. So <laughs> I would say steak with this one. This is more like a dessert cocktail. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, serve this at dessert with like a little pie or a little something, maybe chocolate covered strawberries. I don't know. Okay. Valentine's so Day, you know? Start with this and with this. Yes, perfect. Oh, that's so good. Okay. It's the raspberry element, right? Mm -hmm. And it's really important too to double shake it just so that you're not getting those chunks of ras or double strain it so you're not getting chunks of raspberries as you're drinking it. But yeah, I happy love Valentine's it. Day. Thank you. <laughs> so what are the most popular options when people are making drinks on Valentine's Day? I mean, anything with chocolate. I yeah. think also anything with um, sparkling wine, champagne, any Prosecco, anything like that. Um, 
I love like a, just a strawberry vodka Prosecco situation, anything like that. Oh yes, there are people who are allergic <laughs> to chocolate, so yeah. that's what you recommend. If yeah. we take the chocolate out of these cocktails. I am one of those people. Oh, so, you are? Yeah. So you make so chocolate that's cocktails. That's why you're the only one drinking them right now, <laughs> otherwise I'd be, you know. <laughs> right? So that's good to know though. So yeah. you would just change it to more of a citrusy Prosecco bright flavor? Yes, exactly. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, okay, so this one I thought was really scrumptious, and you recommend strawberries, something light to go with it. Yeah, some dessert style stuff. And tell me how you got into this. Um, I lived in New York for almost 10 years, bartended and ran programs out there, and then I moved here, and um, I just love, I love the family aspect of Bacardi. Um, I have a really great team out here in LA. Um, so yeah, I kind of transitioned from behind the bar to that side, um, and it's been absolutely wonderful. Well, you can tell you're yeah. pouring your love into these cocktails for Valentine's Day, even Thank though you. you're not a chocolate gal. Thank you so much for Thank being here. So much. And that does it for us. Thank you for watching the Morning Wrap. Stick around for KCAL 9 News at noon with Amy Johnson, starting in just about five seconds.